And here we are in Storyline. So um, as you're looking at this file, let me move my head over here to the other side. Um, as you're looking at this file, you can tell that this is uh, kind of a bare bones file. We've got one slide over here on the left hand side. And then uh, down here in our slide layers, uh, and I'm just going to go over like a high level of what's kind of going on. Um, you can see that I've got several different um, slides here. Um, so I have a total of, uh, including the base layer, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I thought there was eight layers. There's actually 10. Um, so anyway, 10 layers, that's all we have. We have three questions. Um, that you can pick from. You remember that from going through the escape room. Um, and you've got a select question and then a welcome. You can add more to this if you wanted to. Um, but the reason I did it this way is so that this web object that you're seeing right here in the middle of your stage, um, this web object will stay um, no, matter, no matter what. Um, so, you're not switching any slides. You're not doing anything uh, really, really crazy here. Uh, now, the cool thing about this is, let me open up one of these uh, a file explorer window um, so you can kind of see um, if I go into my escape room um, folder, you can see that I have a folder called assets. This is where I pulled everything from. You can ignore this top one here. Um, probably shouldn't have that in there anymore. Uh, but all I have in here, all I'm utilizing is this RIV file or this .riv file and this index.html file. Um, so you can pull in a local document and it will carry over to whatever you try to do. If we publish this as it is uh, to Review360, so I'm just going to hit Publish, uh, Review360, um, and uh, yeah, we can just uh, post it over this uh, e existing item because I've not really changed anything. So we'll hit publish here, wait for just a couple seconds to go through its little thing, um, and then we'll click on this uh, view project button once it pops up. Um, you will see what's really interesting is you'll see that it will actually pull that RIV file into this project. Um, there's not been another way to do this yet. So I click on, um, let's close the other tab. I didn't know that was open. Uh, but as we open this up, drag it out just a little bit. Here is uh, the question. And then you'll see it loads here in the background. And so here is my working RIV file to where I can grab this. Um, the little buttons that pop up here, I created these little buttons actually in RIV and then exported them uh, with a transparent background as a GIF. Um, but you can see that right here, we're in, um, we're in Review360 and we're able to interact with this entire file. It'll even pull in uh, the different JavaScript things. So if I answer incorrectly, he gets smaller. If I answer correctly, uh, which is this one here, you can see that it lights up a key. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and close that. Um, you can, um, I'll go into some of these JavaScripts later, uh, but on each one of these slides, you can see that I do have some variable triggers. Um, and so it'll execute a JavaScript when the lives change, uh, if the lives equal one. So for instance, let's click on this uh, JavaScript button and you can see that simply I am calling to change in the session storage uh, flame to flame three. Pretty cool, right? Um, so each one of these layers has its own set of JavaScripts uh, or scripts. I don't know how you want to call those. And uh, you can manipulate those any way that you want. Um, so that you know, um, let's go, let's find the correct screen here. I do apologize. Here we go. 
Um, so this is the code that I used for the HTML page. So you can see that in CodePen, it gives you something that you can kind of play around with down here in the bottom. Um, these are all of the JavaScript calls that I'm doing. Um, and I just have them listed here just to have them all in one place. Um, but if we look over here on the left hand side, basically this is all of the inputs and in just getting the uh, RIVE file up and running. We then go into session storage and start writing stuff to our session storage. That way we can pass items back and forth uh, between Storyline and between Rive, uh, if we use that session storage. Um, and then I've listed these things out. These are um, just little JavaScript pieces in here, naming what is what, and kind of setting things either to true or false, depending on how I've set up the Rive file. Um, and so you can see that we've got a green key, we've got a red key, gold key, we've got our background changes here, and then um, also our flame changes, and that's it. So once you build all that in, um, there's nothing else that you have to do um, except for build your stuff and go. You don't any longer, you don't have to go into your main story.html file and change anything. So this is completely groundbreaking. Um, and now um, well, the reason uh, that we've done this is because in the past, when you put in a web object, you can move the character around in Storyline, uh, but you can't really share information back and forth if you just put uh, Rive's um, uh, Rive's uh, URL to embed it. Uh, what this does is it allows us to move things around and also manipulate uh, what's going on here in the background. Um, we can actually refresh and that should uh, hit restart and it should reset everything here for us. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, please either send me a direct message um, or uh, you can comment directly on this post. Stay tuned to both LinkedIn and YouTube. I'm gonna be posting more and more updates um, on those two platforms as well. Have a great day and I hope to talk to you soon.